Hey crafty peeps, this is Angela Holt with Angela Holt Designs. I'm here to teach you how to make coffee filter angel wings. I know that they're very shabby chic and uh, I thought I want, I, I want a beautiful pair of wings to hang in my craft room uh, because my craft room is uh, shabby chic and I was like okay I want to try this technique. Um, because I have worked with coffee filters before and uh, I made, I've made i made wreaths, I have made all kinds of stuff uh, from these and you can get them for like a dollar a bag at the dollar store and I have always wanted to make a pair of wings but I didn't have enough marabou feathers to do so so I thought well, let's try coffee filters so um, I'm going to teach you how I'm going to go about this now I've been right here sketching on a piece of uh, chipboard, uh, just a scrap piece of chipboard here, and I'm sketching out an angel wing. I want them. Uh, I don't want a traditional wing. You know, I want that kind that comes down at a point like that, and then it'll come up like that. As you see there. So that's my angel wing right there. So what I'm going to do is. I am going to cut this out and then I'm going to trace it to another piece of chipboard. So, not every angel wing is going to be the same. It's kind of like trying to draw a paisley, um, a paisley design if you want to look at it like that. And of course you can do these on a larger scale or a smaller scale. See? There you go. Alright. Now on this one, um, what I want to do, because when you put your angel, angel wings together, you want to be able to have them to interlock. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is take my marker and I'm going to do like a little registration line right here because that's where the flat part of the um, the angel wing is. Okay, so I'm just going to trace my angel wing here. Okay, now you're just going to draw and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one more time how to um, start with your angel wing. As you see here, like where you're flat, I got another piece of this, hang on, let me show you. So if you want to draw it and um, if I get a lot of requests, I'll create a download in my Etsy of this of my angel wing design, and I'll make a template uh, for you to download if you don't feel confident enough to um, draw your own. So, right here, right here is the flat part. Okay, so that's the flat part um, to this. Okay. So when you draw your angel wing, your first, your first drawing is not going to be perfect unless, you know, you're going to want to, okay, and then you're going to start right here, and then you're going to, see, you just draw it like that. And then if you want, you can come back in 
kind of make this line a little bit thicker. As you saw what I was doing, I was going over my lines here. And see, you can even do this on a smaller scale. Now watch. And then just, you know, draw it. See, like I messed that one up because I should have went like this. See, I messed up. See, you can draw them on a smaller scale. But that's how you do it. See? That's how you do it. Okay? So, what you're going to do um, on your second one, where that flat part is, where it showed you, um, you're going to draw the flat part because this is going to be your, how you're going to attach the two wings together, if you can see. See? You're going to attach them both at those flat points. You're going to line your flat point here. Put it in my pen. I just lost my marker. You're going to line your flat point to your flat point right here. See? You're going to line them up like that. And then now all you're going to do is just cut this out. And you can use cereal boxes. You can use, you know, all you need is a good piece of sturdy chipboard. And as you see there, I used a um, just some old pieces of uh, chipboard that I had. want to do is put the two wings together and I cut mine big for a reason so that I can get a perfect size so I'm going to trim away any excess I need to okay what I've got to where now I can't hold on to stuff and cut because it hurts the palm of my hand okay there we go perfect so what I'm going to do real quick is I am going to make a template of my wing so that if I get enough uh, response from it, I will create a download. And I will write this down as my pattern. Okay, so I'll call that wing one and this will be wing two there we go so, and see right here tells me flat point, and this is wing two. All right, so I've got my pattern, so if I want to make more wings, I can. 
All right, so now all we need to do is glue, hot glue, um, that flat point together like that. Isn't that beautiful? It's such a beautiful silhouette. Okay. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover my wings in pattern paper. And I'm going to do this with Mod Podge. I know my wings will be covered up, but I just want that extra security of my wings being covered completely. So if you do see them, they are covered beautifully. And also, I think I'm going to cover the backs with some... Um, felt. That'll just give it added, you know. There we go. And I'll measure these real quick for you. So you can, uh, so I can tell you what size these are. I don't know. I just drew it. So I wasn't drawing for a particular size per se. I have my fan going in my room and all my papers and stuff are flying off my table. Okay. Oh. Just give that a firm press. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to pick that stuff up. Okay, so now what you're going to do is just simply cut these out again. Could you imagine a glittered set or a pearl set of wings? I think that's going to be my next thing is the pearls. I think I'm going to do a pearl set of wings. I'm going to do a smaller scale of wings. really hope my hands are not messing up. Oh, it's, I'm telling you, it's gotten to where, you know, it's hard to grasp stuff sometimes. Do y'all get that? Okay. So, there's the first one. probably hear my husband's TV in the background. As you remember, my scrap room is right off the living room and he watches a bunch of TV shows and I'm doing a class with him at home and normally I do them during the day when nobody's here, but I was in the mood to craft so, and I had this idea and um, I got my Keurig coffee maker, and I'm sitting here cleaning out cabinets, and I saw these um, coffee filters, and I was like, hmm, maybe I can work with those and do something. 
I've always wanted to make angel wings, and like I said, I didn't have enough marabou feather to do it. So, all right. So now I am ready. So we're going to line up the flat part to this, and we're going to glue it down. Okay. So I'm just going to do that with some hot glue. And I'm not worried if I over glued because all of that is going to be covered. Plus you can get your undo and undo it. Okay, so now I'm going to get some felt. This is some um, Walmart special felt. And uh, I think I'm just going to felt the back of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it down right there. Make sure you get your edges very well because you just want to make sure your edges are done because you don't want any bulking or lifting of the felt. Right just give it a press. I hear my dog in the background. Or my husband's dog, that is. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. I am so excited that everyone really, really enjoys my tutorials. Um, it means a lot um, to know that there are so many wonderful people out there and that really like to watch my tutorials. Now, I'm using my fabric scissors. And I'm just going to cut around this. Like that. Okay. Just cut around. Up. And I'm just going to snip that right off like that. I'm recording. <laughs> we got Coco a new um, treat for her to chew on. And uh, I think she really likes it. So there we go. There's the back of that one. And trim up any areas that you need to. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Do that all on one piece. Then I'll measure the wings for you. Okay. What this does, this just adds... Um, a finished look and it also adds more stability so it's really a good thing I'm doing it this way okay. Oop, need another glue stick Okay, then you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to trim away any excess felt. I 
I hate blue webs. And I think I know what's making them worse uh, because I have my fan on. on the coffee filters okay so now what you can do is you can uh, mold the wings to kind of you know just do that because they're very sturdy and they're ready for any type of application that you want to put on them just see here see so here I'm just going to glue that down like that. Beautimus, beautimus. So either way, actually, you can uh, do it either way. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is I am going to take the coffee filters. Let me make sure my camera is still rolling. I'm always afraid of that, that it's not going to roll. So, basically, what you're going to do is you're just going to take the coffee filters and you're just going to start building the wings. So, some of the coffee filters you're going to cut in half like this. Maybe fold a piece and start, you know, like fold it even tighter and just start building like that and then you're just going to build on and on so the video is going to speed up and you can watch this process as I cut and manipulate and glue down all the coffee filters to create the fluffy shabby chic look of the wings
Okay, crafty peeps, I think they turned out just so purdy. Yes, I said purdy. Um, and all I did was, like I showed you in the video, I just scrunched it up like this. And then I took that beaded garland and I just kind of swirled it everywhere. And then now what I want to do is I'm going to create a, um, I want to be able to hang these on the wall. So um, I took some satin ribbon, okay, and I've made a little knot at the top. And I'm just going to glue the satin ribbon together like that and then I'm going to put it right there on that uh, piece that we um, made I don't know I might make it a little bit longer yeah isn't that right arrows you hear my cat in the background yeah Let's see. Uh, let me get another piece of ribbon here. I need to make it a little bit longer. Okay. Let's see. Crisscross it. Yeah, that's a lot better. So we're just going... Okay, separate this little area here. Put some hot glue. And press that right down in there like that. There you go. And now... I'm just going to clip off the tails. Now, I grabbed some other things that I'm going to put in the center here. Let's see. I've got some sheer um, ribbon. I'm going to hang down. I'll put it right there then I'm just going to snip off um, I got some real fun tassel I don't know if I want to do that I might add sparkle. I think I'm just going to do one little thin um, little bit. It needs some sparkle. Yeah. Alright, then I'm just going to clip it off. And then I got some pearl. Definitely got to add pearls. Okay, I got some silver pearl and some white pearl. Ooh, it's looking pretty. All right, then I'm just going to snip some of this off so it's not too long and then for the I'm gonna put some glue right there and then for the piece de resistance um, I'm gonna get a piece of bling 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 it's a mama Yummy bling. It's gonna go right there in the center. Just like that. 
isn't this absolutely gorgeous? Oh, it turned out beautiful. Yes, it did. Isn't that beautiful? I love it, I love it, I love it. And see, it has a nice felted back. So that, my friends, is how you make shabby chic wings with coffee filters. I hope this tutorial has inspired you to look at your coffee filter in a whole different way and uh, make you some shabby chic wings um, and everything. So it's just basically uh, gluing it on there, scrunching it up. You don't have to scrunch it up if you don't like that look. You can leave it. You can do it in a pattern. You can do it any way you want. Um, but um, I absolutely love how this turned out. It just turned out so gorgeous. So gorgeous. So it's going to look great hanging on my wall. So now I have some angel wings. Um, and I, as I was doing this, I was thinking I was going to um, probably do um, some miniature angel wings. I'll do a tutorial on those as well. And uh, sell them in my Etsy because I'm going to do pearl ones, seed bead ones, just all kinds. Until next crafty tutorial, ladies, I will see you then. Bye-bye.